Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jagger here. Um, I'll probably have to keep it kind of close. I'm sure you don't want my like face all up like in the camera. Here you can you can have some shiny nose action. There you go. Um, I'm at work and I'm in downtown. You can probably hear all the noise in the background, so that's why I kind of have the camera close. Um, I'm working. And I'm traveling. Like you can see the ensemble. I'm all my shirt's all crinkled up. My bad. Let me straighten out my chest a little bit. There you go. There. Now, now. so <laughs> the shirt was bubbling up so it made me look like a slob and I'm definitely not um, so I, I'm at work I'm doing my work travel thing whatever um, I just wanted to make a quick video because I just had a super awesome morning and it always just reinforces the lesson that you should always take the time to help someone and that also means you should probably take the time to walk around without your headphones in too so I was walking down this downtown. I don't really know, fully know my way around it. Um, but I was walking up to the spot I got to be at this morning. And uh, I see this older lady, looks like she's probably late 40s, early 50s maybe, walking with a little sheet of paper. And you know, sometimes you just get that feeling like, hey, you know, maybe that person's lost. They look a little bit lost, maybe I should help. And then a lot of times people just kind of keep their headphones on and then they walk past. Or they're looking in their phone and they don't even notice because they're too busy on Facebook or uh, Puzzle Quest or whatever social media or game that you may be doing or scrolling through music so you don't notice. Um, but I didn't have headphones on. Um, I was just walking and I didn't. I wasn't looking at my phone. And before I could get up to her to ask if she needed anything, she called from the back and she was like, Hey, mister, can you help me out? And I was like, Yeah, sure, what's up? Uh, she was like, Can you help me find this address? So I look at her sheet. It's a printout of a Google map. Um, I was like, hmm, I don't know exactly how to get there, but let me pull up my, my app and let me see how, how I can, you know, figure that out, see where we are from here. And so I pull out my Waze app. Waze is actually pretty good. Um, and so I checked it out and it was like half a mile away and it was showing all this crazy construction on the road, um, on, on the way to get there and the path was just weird. So, and she didn't necessarily have the strongest hand, like she knew English, but she had a thick accent. Um, and so, um, I was like, you know what? Rather than me tell you where to get, how to get there, I'm just gonna walk you there. And she was like, what? No, you don't have to do that. And I was like, nah, it's crazy. I showed her the map. I was like, this is a, a crazy spot to walk. So let me just walk you over there. And it's half a mile away. I don't want you to get lost. And so she was like, oh, thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, that's totally fine. So we're walking a little bit. And so, um, you know, like this thing shows that it's going to a park. Do you have the right address? Do you have the email showing where you need to be? He's like, yeah, I'm trying to get to this building. I don't have the email on me. I don't have a cell phone. So it's like, oh, I wonder if maybe, you know, she just might be, you know, in, in, that, in the real struggle. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, and so it's like, okay, um, well, you know, if you don't mind me asking, what, what were you going to do? And she was like, oh, I have a housing interview today. And I'm trying to get to the building so I can be there. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm definitely going to walk you there. I don't want you to miss that interview. She's like, well, it's not until 9. I just wanted to get there early so I didn't miss my appointment and they canceled on me. This is like 6.30 in the morning, y'all. She is out here early. So I was like, yeah, let me walk you there. And so we're going there and so we're walking and she's like, you know, thank you for walking me there. And we're having small chit chat and she's like, I was like, you know, it is, I wanted to ask, you know, where are you staying now? What are you doing? All that kind of stuff. But I didn't and, and it just kind of let her get to it. And she was just like, yeah, I'm trying to get there and I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, get here because I've been living in a shelter for three years. Again, this lady is like late 40s, early 50s. She's like, I've been in a homeless shelter for three years and you know, I'm finally in a spot where I can get things better. I've not given up, I've been working hard and, and she was well-dressed. Like if you looked at her on the street, you wouldn't tell. Her coat was nice and clean, her hair was combed, she had a little bit of makeup on, she didn't look dirty, like she spoke with good English. Like it was, it was, refreshing and it's just like wow she's really trying to help herself and she's like i'm just trying to get to a spot to better myself you know she's like i'm from hawaii i've got 12 brothers but none of them can help me or they didn't want to help me so i've just been on my own and so but i still keep going i'm like you are a very strong lady so many people would have given up by now you know and so many people have given up they just they don't want to try to help themselves and she's like well i have to if i don't nothing's going to change no one's going to do it for me so I just wake up, I pray every day. If you are not a religious person, ignore that part. But you know, that's what gives her the strength. And whatever gets you the strength and gets you going is what you need. And so she was like, 
you know, I really believe that if it wasn't for God, then, uh, you know, I wouldn't be here. And so I just pray and then I just keep working hard and then I get these opportunities. So it's just like, it's super cool that, of you to walk me there. It's like, yeah, of course I'm going to walk you there, man. I don't want you to miss that. So we get up to the place. It was a half a mile away. So it took like 20 minutes to walk there just because she's shorter, takes smaller steps than I do. I could have got there like five, 15 minutes maybe because I, I, I have really long legs. So I stride long. Sorry, it was a big old truck passing because um, I'm in the downtown area. And so uh, we finally get up to the place and she, it's like seven. And so they're not open yet. She's like, well, it's okay. I'm here. I'll just kind of like wander around. But it's like, there's a park here. There's a lot of construction going on. It's like, well, I don't want you to get lost again. So I pulled up the map and I was like, let me see what's nearby. Found the cafe. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy you breakfast. Just straight up. And she was like, no, you don't have to do that. I'm like, nope. I want to make sure you are fed. So you are good and full and eaten before your interview. And then if you're in this cafe, it's not too far away. You know exactly how to get back here so you don't have to wander around town again. She was like, oh my gosh. And she was like starting to get teared up. And she's like, I'm never going to forget this day ever. Like, I just needed directions. You did. I wasn't expecting you to walk me here. I wasn't expecting you to give me breakfast. Like, this conversation's been great. Like, this is amazing. I'm never going to forget this day. And so, you know, at that point, we finally exchanged names. And so we went to the cafe. I bought her some breakfast. Then I, I made her. <laughs> <laughs> let me buy her some snacks for later too so it's like get yourself something to drink for later get some snacks for later so after the interview if you're still hungry you have something to eat for a little bit something to munch on whatever you need to do and so she got a few snacks or whatever and and you know she was she was super in tears at that point she was just like having a whole time trying to control everything and all that stuff and so got her a breakfast pay for it all that stuff and then uh when i left i gave her my contact info and i was like you know whenever you get your place let me know i'd like to come back and see it i'd like to come back and visit and then i'll come and make you lunch because i do a lot of cooking and stuff and it'd be cool we can sit down have a conversation see where your plans are going from there and so she was just like yeah okay totally so she got it walled up hopefully she'll contact me because i really do want to come back and, and visit and check in on her and see how things are going like sorry it was just like, you know, people like that you want to stay in contact with and, and, and just help them out. So, you know, I want to be there to do what I can. And, you know, yeah, it's a travel for me to come back up here, but I'm willing to do it, man. Like, she was super awesome. She was super cool. And she's a, she's a beacon of hope and a spot of lost humanity and people feeling entitled and, and feeling privileged and not wanting to help themselves and stuff like that. And, you know, just also some inspiration, man. Like... You don't meet people like that all the time, and you're not really in a position to help people like that too. So that was my morning. It's got me further inspired to keep pushing what I want to do, uh, which is the life coaching and the live streaming. Um, I've also mentioned it before on the stream and in my Jagger forum, jagger.freeforums.org, um, that I want to push, I want to create a homeless repurposing center. Um, I actually have a meeting with someone later this week uh, in my city where I live to see if there's a way I can try to jump in and, and get something like that going. So hopefully it can, um, but I definitely want to do stuff like this and just like, if I, if I can work from life coach, doing life coaching stuff from home and doing my stream stuff from home, I want to just be able to get out and walk around downtowns and, and locations and help people like that and, and do things like this. So, you know, that's my story, but all of this to say to all of you is to just take the time if you see somebody who needs some help, help them out. We're all struggling, we all are dealing with our adversities, but hey, if you can take 30 minutes of your time and a little bit of walking and a little bit of cash to, to help somebody else, do it, man. It's, it's gonna help them and it might help someone in a situation you would have never imagined. Take out the headphones, listen to what's out in the world, take in some sights. That's all I got. I'll holler at y'all later.